Hey guys, Vincent Wynn here for SlashGear and AndroidMe.com. I've got Shreve here. We're going to actually get to see Gigabit LTE live on the new Sony Xperia XZ? Premium. Z? Premium. Yes, Something XZ like that. Premium. Anyway, That's right. Yeah. <laughs> forget about the device. It's not important. It's the Snapdragon 833 processor that's powering all this good stuff that's coming, coming out. Yeah, right? yeah. And then we're going to, I'm going to turn it over to Sharif and then he's going to tell us why Gigabit LT is important for us moving forward. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. So yeah, so here's the phone itself, the Xperia XZ Premium. First smartphone in the world to use Snapdragon 835. And one of the most exciting features about it is the fact that it can support gigabit LTE, so up to one gigabit per second download over an LTE connection. And this is actually a live demo, so this is a speed meter that's reading the speeds that are coming off this very device that we have on the table there. So of course, this is very exciting. It's a stepping stone towards 5G. We're really um, driving mobile broadband speeds to be way faster than what we have today uh, on today's LTE networks. What's exciting is not just the availability of the device, but that many operators around the world in the United States, in Europe, and in Asia are actually deploying gigabit LTE networks this year. So you're going to have the devices and you're going to have the networks to support them as well. One of the questions that we always get about you know, advertising new LTE capabilities is well, what's going to be the real world speed? And so we actually ran this network simulation that kind of approximates what the real world speed should be like. So let's do a quick comparison. So let's say that we're going to do a cloud you know, file download scenario. Let's compare the average users. And let's compare a CAT6 phone, which is kind of the typical LTE smartphone today, versus CAT16 which is what gigabit LTE can give you. So what this is saying is that real world speeds in a real network that's loaded is 52 megabits for the CAT6 phone and around 93 megabits for the CAT16 phone. Now watch as I change the mix of devices in the network. If I add more CAT16 devices and take away some of the lower end devices, watch what happens to the throughputs here. So instead of 52, it's 72, and instead of 90 megabits, it's over 100 megabits. And what this means is that the CAT16 devices, the gigabit LTE devices, use the network much more efficiently, so the capacity of the network expands and everybody's speeds go up, even if they don't have one of the most recent devices. And if you were to look at some, the closer, um, you know, to ideal conditions, closer to the tower, you can get speeds in excess of 200 megabits per second. So think about what this can do in terms of access to your files in the cloud, to streaming uh, 360 degree VR video, very high resolution, and high frame rate, or to, for like in this example, download a music playlist for offline play in a matter of seconds. It's very exciting technology, and we're very proud to bring it to the world with Snapdragon 835. All right, Sharif, thank you so much for that walkthrough, and best of luck. I appreciate it, thank you.